Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 122. We get the Nasdaq down 15. S&Ps are up 13. Our uh, guest today, folks, is Gina Driscoll. G G Gina right now is a city councilor in St. Petersburg, Florida. She is running uh, as a candidate. We have uh, elections in two weeks. Gina has been involved in the hospitality business for a long period of time. She has an extensive record of community service, including uh, the Downtown uh, Neighborhood Association, the Downtown Business Association, the Central Ave Council. Gina, welcome. Welcome to TFNN. Hi, Tom. It's good to, see, to uh, hear you today. Absolutely. So tell us, why should we elect you back to the city council? We've made some great progress during my first term. I mean, we've made great strides in um, working toward creating more affordable housing. We're talking about the environment more than any other time in our city's history. And I've really been pushing environmental issues and um, you know just creating a better and more equitable economy for everyone great progress and i want to serve another term so that we can continue that what do you think are the biggest challenges in st pete right now right now the the number one challenge that we have is the lack of affordable housing that we have in our city and that's something that we're seeing nationwide you know st petersburg is not any different in that regard but we are really making some bold moves to increase the funding mechanisms and then also to take a look at our zoning and make sure that our zoning is matching what we need in order to create enough housing at different price points so everyone can live here. You know, I hear this a lot and, and the right across the country what has happened and, and I, I think it's a demographic deal but but I'm, I'd like to ask you this question because everyone keeps talking the aspect of housing there's no doubt about that that's there the zoning's no doubt about that but the amount of violent crime that we have in St. Pete is pretty big and you know is that the secret that's off to the side or what's what's happening with that it's really no secret it's another uh, top issue that people talk about in our city and that has gone up um, we have we've made some good progress with um, within our police department, bringing on the call team, which is a group of um, social workers who respond to a lot of those nonviolent calls that actually uh, sometimes do lead to violence. And they go and they work with the people and you know connect with that they need because a lot of the violence I think just stems from these domestic disputes that get out of hand and you know often it's not just a, a police officer that you need but someone who is in regular clothes who is trained to deal with these kinds of things and it's quite innovative for a police department like ours to incorporate something like this into their practice but it is showing some great results so far so that's just one example of what we're doing as a city to reduce violent crime. Yeah, you know what's it, interesting? The resources that they need. Yeah, and, and the reason I bring this up, what happened last night, folks, okay, there was a, a marital debate uh, because with the, and, and that wasn't brought up, and, and I, I totally understand the affordable housing and the zoning issues, which are totally important, but it actually blew my mind that it wasn't brought up because of the aspect we're a really small city and yeah, I understand that, okay, if the police department get involved and it's there, but the last three murders have been like over a parking space, man, <laughs> you know? So right, it's like, right. it's, it seems yeah. like there's gotta be some type of, you know, whether it's early education, I mean, there's, there's, there's something that's going on here that no one has a grasp on. And, and I'm not just saying in St. Pete, I happen to think it's, it has to do with there's just so many kids because I, when we were kids growing up, that's when violent crime was really big. Then it subsided and people think that as it subsided that all these departments are doing good. Well, my take is that all it really meant is that you had young, more, you have less young kids when the violent crime stopped when I was a kid and I have more of them because we have more young kids that are between the 14 and 18 age, which, you know, it's, it's tough to get out of. So let's talk about um, the zoning. I know. I heard. I heard you the other night. Uh, um, it's great. I mean, and it's going to be a battle for all you for all you folks. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and what I mean by that specifically, folks, is that this is going on right across the country. I mean, everyone wants you know less wants more apartments. But if you have more apartments, you can't have a whole city with single family housing taking it up. So let's talk a little bit about that and talk about your ideas. 
we had a really great discussion on in one of our city council committees last week about missing middle housing and that's duplexes triplexes you know small rows of townhouses that could be built within neighborhoods where you find a lot of single family homes and if it's done in the same scale where it blends in with the neighborhood then you know it allows us to create housing for more people because you have more individual units but those also tend to be smaller and you know therefore they'd be more affordable for people so on a lot where right now you can only build a single family home if we change this zoning you would be able to build a duplex so that gives uh, the developer an opportunity to sell two homes at a lower price and ultimately you know in most cases they would make more money Sure. So then it's a win, 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 right? Yes. And then, you know, but also someone could buy that and live in one and rent out the other. And then they have a source of income as well from that rental income. So it creates some opportunities that we don't have enough of right now. And that's because so much of our city is zoned just for the single family homes. With a city like St. Petersburg, where we have a limited amount of land, we really do have to start thinking about taking a different approach like this. There's no doubt. And you guys are doing a great job with that, by the way. I mean, Thank and, you. and folks, this is a very tough thing to do in any neighborhood. You know, let me ask you, I was, you know, as you think this true sometimes, you know, we know that people always talk about affordable housing. And trust me, I've been in St. Pete for 27 years now. I was in Boston, in, in inner Boston, 25 years before that. And the conversation was still the same. And it always seems that it's very hard, no matter how much you try, the administration tries to get housing going. And I was thinking that, you know what, on some aspects, maybe another way of doing it is that, number one, that the city gets more involved. And what I mean by that, the city get more involved, that there is some kind of a stopping point on the amount of assessed value that goes on a house and the taxes that go on a house. Meaning that, okay, so let's picture that we have a family that they're working their butt off, you know, cops, firemen, whatever that is. Um, you know, they're at a certain level. Um, and the city turns around and says, hey, you know what? Instead of going from $7,000 a year in property taxes to eight to 10 to 12, as the city goes up, they just turn around and say, hey, listen, we're gonna stay that at seven. Um, and the city pitches in because that's always a cost that never stops, meaning the assessment as it right. goes up, you know. So it's just it's just an idea to throw out there. But uh, it, it gets kind of unique, you know, uh, when we when we when we start looking forward. Well, listen, Gina, yeah. this was absolutely great. Appreciate you coming on. Good luck to you, you. And I look forward to having you again. Thank you. So Thank you so much. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, up 119, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's up 12. We're coming right back.